button. Okay. All right, the question tonight. Emily went to the movies. She spent one-fifth of her money on a ticket and two-sevenths of her money on popcorn. How much of her money did she spend? Two questions tonight. And then how much was left after she spent it? Um, of course, as usual, the numbers have changed. But the questions are the same. What operation are we doing in this problem? Addition. Yes. Addition. It is addition. We're adding. Addition. Yes, we are doing addition, and the next step is subtraction, Mason. Okay, one fifth and two sevenths. What's a good common denominator? Thirty-five. Yes. A lot of the times we'll take this whole fraction and multiply times the opposite denominator. This whole fraction and multiply times this denominator. If we were to list our multiples, 5, 10, do y'all know these? 15, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 25, 30, 35, and then list them for 7. 7, 14, 21, 28, 35. You would get 35 as your least common multiple. So it doesn't really matter which method you're used to doing. We are going to use 35 as the bottom number. We're going to multiply this whole fraction times 7 over 7. And this whole fraction times 5 over 5. So this is the step that we're just getting a common denominator. When we rewrite our fractions, we have 7 over 35 added with 10 over 35. And I'm so sorry that my numbers are bunching up. 7 plus 10 is 17, 17 over 35. What did these amounts stand for? Reread if you have to. Not specifically, but what kind of information is that? The money that she spent. So she spent, you could write this differently, but this is an amount that she spent. If that's the amount spent, Mason said our next step was to subtract. What are we subtracting that from in order to see how much she has left? 17 and 35 minus. Whoa, no, no. We're subtracting that. So what are we taking it from? Oh, no. Two sevenths. One fifth. No, no, no. What no. was the whole amount that she started with? Seven. Yeah. Thirty-five over thirty-five. Remember last week when we were taking an amount out of the whole? We don't know the dollar amount she started with, but whatever it was, it was the whole amount. So we're letting one stand for the whole amount. You also could rewrite that one as 35 over 35 if that makes it easier for you or you could just think um, from 17 up to 35 what would I have to um, what would I have to add to 17 to make 35 30 fits so what do y'all say it's 22 right yes, yes. Yes. no 22 is not right I know so what is it so what is it Try again. You thought it was 12, so I left that 2 up there. Okay, think about it. What bottom number were we using? 35. And I, but I wanted to rewrite my 1 as a fraction. And since we're already working with 35, remember that any number over itself stands for 1. Okay, the numbers that you'll be using on your homework will not be quite as probably big or complex. They'll probably be a little bit easier. But as usual, your first step was to get the common denominator. Your second step was to subtract your top numbers. You left your bottom number the same. After you figured out how much Emily spent, you subtracted from one whole to find out how much that she had left. Okay, thanks.